So the focus of this video will be waves and we'll be looking at what are waves, we'll be describing waves and we'll be also looking at the wave equation. So let's get right into it. Okay, so what we'll first need to get a clear understanding is or a clear understanding of is what is a wave. So a wave can be thought of as any disturbance in a medium which causes the transmission of energy throughout that medium. And here we have some examples of some waves. We have our water waves, we have waves on a string, and we have some sound waves. Now even though these waves are centered around solids, liquids, and gas, uh, it must be pointed out that uh, waves, there exist waves that do not need matter, which are solids, liquid or gas, for propagation. And we'll be looking at those types as we go further in this video. So, what are the types of waves? Now, there are two types of waves which we will be studying in physics. And these are mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. Mechanical waves require a medium for propagation and can be further classified into transverse waves and longitudinal waves. Electromagnetic waves on the other hand does not require a medium and is able to propagate throughout empty space. So basically electromagnetic waves are able to propagate without matter. So what is a transverse waves? What are transverse waves? These are mechanical waves in which the particles within the medium move perpendicular to the motion of the wave travel. And a good example would be water waves. So in the case of a transverse wave, we will have the particles uh, moving up and down. Uh, as in a wave, we have the water molecules going up and down and the wave is going uh, forward, right? So the particle movement is perpendicular to the di direction which the waves or the wave travels as in the case of a water wave so we have uh, the particles going up and down and the wave moving outward now longitudinal waves the particles in longitudinal waves travel parallel to the direction of the wave motion and sound waves are examples of longitudinal waves so we have the sound waves disturbing the air closest to the source and then those air molecules move forward toward the uh, recipient or the person's ear while the wave is actually moving in the same direction. So we say that longitudinal waves, uh, the particles move parallel to the direction of the wave travel as in the case of sound waves. So here we have uh, the ear, ear molecules, right, moving towards the ear of the person or the listener and the wave is actually traveling in the same direction. How to describe a wave? All waves as these properties which are used to describe a wave. Uh, they are wavelength, amplitude, frequency, period, and speed. So when we talk of a, wa a wave, we can, be ta we can talk about uh, its wavelength, its amplitude, its frequency, its period, or its speed. Now wavelength. Wavelength is defined as the distance between two successive crests or two successive troughs. So on our diagram, uh, we have uh, the trough labeled there. Right, we have our trough label, labeled there and our crest labeled there. So one wavelength would be from this point here to this point would be classified as one wavelength in the, in the case of the crest, while for the trough, this point to this point would be classified as a wavelength and see we have it here uh, defined for us so the wavelength is just uh, the distance between two successive crests or two successive trough now amplitude is defined as the distance between the rest position and the highest point on the wave so this is our reference or our rest position and the amplitude would be the distance from this point here up to the highest point on the wave. It could be also be considered as a, the distance between the rest position and the lowest point on the wave. So that is what the amplitude 
uh, is just the, diff the, the distance between the rest position and the highest point on the wave. Now, frequency is the amount of cycles completed in one second. Right? So, frequency is the amount of cycles which is completed by the wave in one second. And period is the time taken to complete one cycle of the wave. Since the period is time, it is measured in units of seconds and the frequency is measured in units of hertz. Now the speed is a distance moved by any point on the wave in one second and is measured in meters per second. Now the wave equation, the wave equation is used to relate the properties of a wave and is given as V equals F lambda, where V is the speed of the wave in meters per second, lambda is the wavelength, and F is the frequency in Hertz. So we'll use this equation now when we, do, when we want to find out properties of a wave. So for example, if we are given the frequency and the wavelength, I want to determine the speed, we can just use our equation and we'll be able to find the speed of the wave. Now you might uh, wonder what about period? The period is related to the frequency by a simple formula which allows us to determine the uh, period from the equation. So this is the equation used to uh, govern all waves in physics. So now let's do a quick recap. So we said that a wave is any disturbance which causes energy to be transmitted throughout that medium. And there are two categories of waves. These are mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. Mechanical waves require a medium for propagation and is further divided into transverse waves and longitudinal waves. Electromagnetic waves, however, require no medium and can travel in a vacuum. And all waves are governed by the wave equation. So that is it for this video. We just looked at uh, some concepts of waves, right? If there was anything you wish to get further clarification on, please feel free to post them in the comments below or send me an email to junior at realjuniorroberts.com. Also, if you're doing physics and you would like to be more confident when doing physics, I am actually giving, you, giving away a free PDF guide to help you bridge the gap between mathematics and physics. So head over to my website at realjuniorroberts.com Enter your information and pick up this free resource. Thank you for watching.